Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm Valerie Ortiz. Up next, Texas native Ashley Zamora always knew acting was her future. And as she was working multiple day jobs and going to college at the same time, she kept going to auditions in pursuit of her dreams. And after booking a breakthrough gig as a series regular on none other than George Lopez's new TV land show, Lopez, this Cuban-American talent can rest assured she has arrived to Hollywood. And coming up, she makes her first stop right here on American Latino TV. Dad, where are we going? Erica, I'm going to show you how to keep things real. Hi, I am Ashley Zamora. I'm on Lopez on TV Land. You have an 80% positive rating among blacks and Hispanics, but not as high among other whites and Asians. So you're telling me that that could be a problem because my audience is brown? No. So I specifically made sure not to say that. What really interested me about acting and becoming an actor was I love the art of telling a story through a character. And it's putting yourself in that situation and taking somebody through the story as opposed to just telling a story. And so that's what really interests me and it's so interesting to get to explore different characters and different types of people and different ways of thinking. Dad, I'm going to take a gap year. You're not dropping out of high school. Of course not. I'm taking a gap year. You're not dropping out, you're not gapping out, you're not dropping into a gap, but if you work at a gap, I'll be right there, I'll drop you off every day. Lopez is George Lopez's new show. He's the star of the show, it follows him. It's a really interesting take for George to do this because it's not shot like a sitcom. It's shot single cam, there are no laugh tracks. It's a lot more realistic, which is different from a lot of the things that George has done. It also follows George Lopez as himself, a comedian. A lot of the things that have happened to him in real life, they bring it up in the show and just kind of like make jokes about it. Quite a few of the series regular cast members were rookies. It's our first series regular, including myself. And so we always kind of looked up to George to set the tone and let us know, you know, how everything was gonna go. And for me, I learned that, you know, you always come in, no matter what's going on, you always have to come in and give 110%. Oh my God. Isn't this great? So the rumors are true? We lost all our money? Lost all our money? What are you talking about? Erica is Georgia's 16-year-old daughter, so she's in high school, she's young, she's figuring out who she is and what she wants in the world. And so it's almost kind of like she has her own storyline, like George and all the characters are doing their thing. And Erica's off kind of like doing her own thing. She's in school with her friends. And so it's kind of fun because George is trying to keep up with his life, but at the same time trying to keep up with what his daughter's coming up with now. She's a super fun character. She's just funny and like, it's a really fun chemistry between Erica and George. This is great, you see, it's the real world. That, oh. Was that a gunshot? No, <laughs> that's fireworks. It's really cool to be part of a Latino cast. I mean, the show has a lot of diversity, a lot of different types of people, which is really cool. So it has something that I think everybody can relate to, you know, especially in a day like today, it's very important to have a lot of diversity in a show, because I think in the United States, people are starting to realize like, wow, a lot of different cultures are underrepresented. And so it's really important to bring in shows and, and support shows that have a different type of ethnicities and races as the forefront of the show. I have no idea who you are. Google me. You know what? I'll Google myself. I don't have reception. How can I be in the city and not have reception? Wait a minute. Don't Latinos hike? Latinos! De Ana Jorge Lopez! Salganse! What keeps me going is definitely just the love of it. You know, if at some point I don't enjoy it anymore, I'm going to stop because there's no reason to continue doing something just because you can do it. You need to do it because you're passionate about it because that comes across in the work. And you got to take risks and you've really got to stand out because there are a lot of people that want to do it. Overall, it's been an amazing experience. Getting to work with the people that I got to work with is amazing and I learned more than I would have ever imagined. So that's what keeps me going and what I would say to other artists that want to do the same thing. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's great. Love you. Oh, Good love night. You. Good night.